Hello, I'm Mike Driscoll, and today I'm going to talk about how to cache with Python. Now, caching is not the same thing as getting money. In programming, that means you cache data so that the program will run faster. The easy way to do that in Python is to use the built-in module functools. Functools has a .cache decorator that was added in Python 3.9. It provides a simple, lightweight, unbounded function cache, sometimes called a memoize. If you're using an older version than 3.9, you can use LRU cache instead. Let's take a look at an example. A popular example is the Fibonacci sequence. You can code the Fibonacci sequence like this using recursion. Here we define Fibonacci function, um, we pass in a number, it'll check if it's less than two and just return n. Otherwise, it will do, uh, it will call Fibonacci from within itself using recursion, n minus one plus Fibonacci n minus two. And we're just gonna add a, some code here to test how long it takes to run this code. So if we run this, we're using Python's timeout module, and it should output how long it took to run. So it took about 5.2 seconds to run this code. Okay, let's add caching to the mi mixture. From func tools, import cache, decorate the function with at cache, and now we'll try running the exact same code that we did before. As you can see, it ran, you know, a thousand times faster, 10,000 times faster, it's so much faster, it's amazing. You could use cache to speed up lots of different kinds of programs. I highly recommend that you check it out. Thank you so much for watching.